Today I'm playing Dune, the battle for Arrakis for the Sega Genesis. I'm recording on a Retron 5 here. I never really knew anything about this game. It's been on my shelf for a while, but recently I got it out like a week ago and started playing it and I got addicted to it and I actually went through the entire game and beat it. So today I don't think I'm going to be able to have enough time to play the entire game, but I'm going to play it until I exhaust myself or until I start losing missions which probably isn't going to happen because I, once again, I did beat the game, so I should be able to play very well for you today. Um, but anyway, this is a real-time strategy game, and I don't normally play those, and I prefer turn-based strategy games like Warsong on the Genesis, and uh, I just haven't heard anything about this game um, from anyone, probably because it takes a long time to play, and so when you get people reviewing games like this on YouTube, like John Hancock and them, they're probably not, those people probably don't have enough time uh, with their YouTube schedule and everything to play through a longer game like this. They might do it for an RPG, but strategy games uh, kind of don't get covered as much on YouTube. So I'm glad to show this one to you today. Um, you might think it might be un uninteresting to watch, but I'm going to try to make it interesting for you. Uh, but also, you don't have to be a Dune expert to play this game. You don't have to know anything about the Dune universe to play this game. I am a fan of the Dune universe, um, but I don't know everything about it. I have seen the, sci the, the two sets of sci-fi miniseries uh, that were like 20, 23 years ago. Um, that's how old they are. And I have seen Dune Part 1, the movie. Uh, but this game focuses, focuses on one aspect, and that is spice production. What you have to do is grow spice and cash it in. And you use the cash to buy weapons. And you have to use those weapons to destroy the other houses on the planet, which are doing the same process. So, without further ado, let's start the game. I get to pick between three different houses. I'm going to pick Atreides because they're the good guys for the most part. I've never even heard of Ordos. Maybe I missed that uh, when, I'm watching the, when I was watching the miniseries or the movie. Or I'm sure it's in the books, though. And then there's Harkonnen. Uh, the difference between them all is not very big. There's just certain weapons that each house uses that the other weapons don't have. But for the most part, the weapons match up. It's, they're like 90% the same, no matter who you pick here. But I'm going to pick Atreides. And this is just a guy who's going to explain. Uh, he's my Mentat. He's going to explain some stuff. And he asked me if I want to join the house. And I'll say yes. And he says that the goal of this first mission is to raise 1,000 credits. This game does a good job of just easing you in, into the process. It doesn't uh, give you everything that's available to you at the beginning. It introduces things piece by piece. So this is kind of like a tutorial mission, and all I have to do is grow some spice and defend my base a little bit. So I'm going to move my little people away from my base a little bit because I have to enlarge that base. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this orange stuff right here is the spice. So I'm going to build a concrete slab. I have some money to spend and it's building it and it's complete. Now I'm going to uh, put a power plant there called a, pit, a wind trap. And it's building that, and you can see my money being spent as I build these things. Now I'm going to build another concrete slab. Let's see, is this a bad guy? There was a bad guy attacking right here, but he got shot by my little tricycle here. Um, it's called a trike. Now I'm going to build a refinery, and these are very important. I had to have the power plant to do that. You can see people coming out of the sand and attacking the base. 
And I'm just gonna move this trike over here to help defend it. My refinery is ready. Yes, sir. Moving out. Let's move this trike a little bit further out so we can see what's out there. So this little uh, harvester is heading out to the spice field and it's going to um, start accumulating the spice for me. The higher concentration of the spice is the darker orange area here. And as it sucks it up, it's gonna start to disappear, but there's plenty of it. And I have to wait for that to return to my refinery before um, I start getting the cash. But let's see what else I can build in the, in the meantime, if I wanna build anything. I don't think I'll build anything for now. So there's gonna be a little bit of waiting to do here. This doesn't happen on later missions. This is just to ease you into the concept of this. But I'm gonna uncover more of the map here, just in case there's more spice that, that um, we can do, we can harvest. Now I do have control over where this harvester does the harvesting from. I can point them in another direction, but if I don't touch them at all, he uh, will automatically just gather the spice. Gonna uncover more, oh, there's a bad guy. And he's being shot at automatically by my little pieces here. Oh, there's a little guy attacking the base down here. I did not see him. So we're just gonna move that into position and shoot him. And he's damaging some stuff. So I'm gonna repair it by picking fix here. I don't know if he shot these buildings or not. They don't seem to be in need of repair. So you can see the number of credits went down during that for that repair. I better keep him over here. Let's bring these guys a little closer. Those little green guys keep hopping out of nowhere. I think they're House Atreides. I can't remember which side is the green side. Uh, it might be Ordos. So now my harvester is full and it's bringing it to the refinery and my credits are going up there. And we're just gonna, let's build another refinery. So I'm gonna put a concrete slab. I do not have to have the concrete, but it makes the building on top of it last longer. If I build too many things, I need more power plants. You can see my uh, second refinery being constructed there on the right. I can lay it. And with that refinery, I get another harvester. So now I have two harvesters and I'm going to harvest twice as fast. In the meantime, let's try to find some more spice. I think the, harv the harvesters can find the spice on its own if we haven't uncovered it on the map. But here I found a pretty big field up here. Well, not that big. And I'm actually gonna instruct this guy to harvest over here instead where it's more concentrated and there we see one of the bad guys on his way to the base and there's another guy attacking the base right there so we'll defend it later on um, in the game in the later stages you get tanks and flying stuff that starts attacking your base so this is just it's starting us off with little foot soldiers and I, got, I can also run these guys over with my harvester. But let's send this guy over here too. We're taking care of business over here. Let's go ahead and repair everything. If something is damaged, it's less productive. So the power plant will produce less power. And <clears throat> this thing's got a little bit of damage, this refinery. Okay, I'm actually gonna bring one of these harvesters back early just to show that I can do it and this guy I need to get him in the more concentrated area here I can only build on the rock which is this um, darker area here I can't build on the sand later on in the game there's also sandworms that gobble up your people and gobble up your vehicles and stuff like that 
Now this may seem a little bit boring, but it gets more and more interesting as the game goes on because they give you more access to more buildings and more weapons and stuff like that. So I've reached a thousand credits and I've beat the first mission just like that. And there's just a little scene here. It's giving me some numbers. And it gives me a password for the next mission. So I never, if I wanted to, I could never, I could just start mission two for now on with the password. And now the mission goal is to either raise 2,700 credits or remove the Ordo's base in this region. I think it's going to be faster to, re to produce the credits, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll get back to business here. All right, I need to move some guys out so I can have room to build my base. <clears throat> Looks like we have a spice field right there. This is a pretty big map, as you can tell from the radar there. We're going to build some concrete. I'm going to go as fast as possible here. Build the wind trap for the power. This game, uh, like I said, originate. I think I said it in this video, it originated on computers, and usually you'd be using a mouse, but this controls just fine with the controller. Uh, hold on a second. I kind of put that con concrete in a bad spot. Hold on a second. Stop making that. No, I keep choosing the wrong thing. Just as I said, the controller works fine. It's easy to over slide on this menu. Let's put it down here. And then we're gonna build refinery. Come on. It said enemy unit approaching, so we'll have to watch for that. There he is. Let's bring this back in to defend. I can tell them direct, directly to attack them, but they're going to attack them anyway. It, I did not order it to build another refinery, but I have another one anyway, it looks like. So we'll just have two refineries at first here. So that should make things go pretty fast. Now notice that last refinery, I did not build it on concrete. That will make the, um, that makes the building not last as long. I think I said that too. It, it'll deter, uh, the weather and everything will cause it to become, become damaged over time. In fact, that happens to every building, but it's not as fast if it's on concrete. Let's see if we can find a better spice. Oh, we got people coming. They killed my guy there. Let's send uh, these people over here. I'm just going to let them do the fighting. And okay, we splattered all those guys. I'm going to assume most of the attacks, will, most of the attacks will come from the top here. The enemy probably has a base way out here in the darkness. By the way, if I hold down C, I can move really fast. If I don't hold down C, it moves slowly. So once again, they do a good job of replicating the mouse. From what, from what I can tell, uh, according to Wikipedia, this game was called Dune 2 on computers because the company that developed this actually made two Dune games around the same time that didn't mean for that to happen. So they had to call one of them Dune and the other one Dune 2. Uh, Two. Now, for some reason, it's automatically forcing me to build these bases, or these uh, 
the refineries. And I'm not sure why it does that. I was talking and it built a third refinery. So I'm going to have to place it. And now I'm going to have three harvesters. That's way too many. And But it's also given me access to a couple other things here. Uh, a vehicle factory and a space silo. I, I, I'm sorry, a s spice silo. So let's go ahead and build the spice silo. That's going to store the spice. If you get too many refineries, uh, they get full. So I'll go ahead and build that. We got a lot going on here. The enemy is attacking way up here. Let's bring this guy back for defense. I'm not worried at all about these enemies because I know this is going to be a short mission. One of the harvesters is offloading right now and it's upping my credits. Let me make sure it's not building something. Good. And right now, it's just a waiting game for them to harvest. Ooh, we got some nice harvesting going on down there. And out over here, they found another spice field. I'll keep that guy there. We're almost to a thousand credits. So we're about halfway through the mission here. Uh, where's that guy going? We need him to concentrate on... There we go. Now you can actually tell your guys to attack your own stuff, like this. Under attack. Uh, because sometimes you accidentally build too much and you need to take it down a, a little bit. I just told him to stop doing that. Alright, the, the enemy continues to attack. Uh, we continue to accumulate credits. These flashing lights mean one of the harvesters is about to come back. So we're earning a lot of money right now. I could keep building, but I don't want to keep spending the money. I want to get this mission over with because after this, the goal of the game, the goal of each mission is going to be destroy the enemy base. That's uh, a step up in excitement. This is pretty much still a tutorial going on here. The enemy is being a little bit more relentless. And they keep attacking, but they're no match for my vehicles. Especially this one. This is my strongest vehicle. Now, it has been damaged. You can see a little damage gauge underneath, uh, on the right there. Let's see, what did I just tell him to do? Let's bring this guy over and tell him to attack those. Now this game uh, is pretty much a predecessor to Command and Conquer. The things they discovered that you can do in this game, the, the, develop, the developers invented some things that, are, that were later used as the foundation for Command and Conquer. I'm not sure if it's the same exact people that made Command and Conquer, uh, a comparable game to this, I'm, um, I almost got this mission one, by the way. A comparable game to this is Herzog's Way. I like this a little bit better than Herzog's Way. I've beat both of the games, so... Um, I just like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit more developed. Okay, it's giving me a mission summary. I harvested a more spice than the enemy and I destroyed 18 of their units and I lost one of my guys. All right. Now this is the official start of, of the game as I explained earlier. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. I can he can give me advice on how to do things, but 
are, I've already read that advice, so I'm just gonna jump right into it here. It's red, so I think that means it's controlled by the Harkonnen. Move these guys out a little bit. Build some concrete. This time we have to destroy the other house, or at least their uh, base that's nearby. It's somewhere on this map. We don't know exactly where it's at. We're gonna build our wind trap. By the way, this main square is my construction yard. <clears throat> you do not want to get that destroyed. Later on, we have the options of building more construction yards. But as of right now, we're just gonna keep one. We're just gonna have one. So we're gonna do the same process we've been doing, build the refinery. This is kind of the first thing you have to do every single mission. You gotta get the spice um, flowing. There we go. I'm gonna keep building in the meantime. My harvester has arrived. Let's see, we got some battles going on somewhere. Oh, my harvester ran the guy over. You can do that. You can uh, direct the harvesters to just walk over people or roll over people. It's pretty funny. I need to see the enemy coming, so I need to unlock, uh, reveal more of the map here. I don't want to get too far away from the base. Okay, what else can we build at this time? This is called an outpost. And we'll go ahead and tell it to build one of those. What it does is uh, enhance the radar and it also gives you the ability to build other things. It's not the most necessary thing. Ooh, we have a pretty powerful vehicle here attacking the base. So let's direct some of our units over there and get rid of that guy. And this guy too. Let's make sure our harvester is doing okay over here. Looks like it. This guy is almost dead. Um, but look at the radar in the bottom right. Since I've built this outpost, that um, I can see more on that radar, like different colors and stuff like that. So we still have credits, so let's go ahead and build some more. Put something right there. We're going to build a vehicle plant, but we don't have enough credits yet. Once you get the vehicle plant running, you can create other wep um, the, the things I have on wheels. I can create more of those, and I can also create another harvester. There's a barracks and that produces soldiers. I usually don't need those. I prefer vehicles over soldiers. And so we're just gonna have to wait for this harvester to come back before we can make any more buying decisions. We're playing defensively until we can get this whole thing built. Until we can get a, a pretty powerful city built. Then we're gonna start manufacturing vehicles and we're going to start attacking the base. We do need to find the base eventually. And there's another enemy approaching. He's pr that base is probably to the north of us. That's why uh, the enemies, enemies are coming from that way. <clears throat> oh, more of them. The harvester is coming back. Might as well bring this guy up here too. You gotta outpace the computer in this game. They have damaged um, my ref uh, my power plant, so I'm repairing that. Or else, all these other uh, units are gonna suffer if that power plant suffers. Okay, looks back to normal again. 
Let's move these guys closer. All right, I need a vehicle plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and build one of those. I gotta be careful that I might need another power generator, but we'll see. It'll let me know if I'm draining too much power. Uh, there we go. Seems to be okay. So now let's see if we can purchase anything. Right now we can just produce trikes, but I can upgrade this plant to produce other things. I'll go ahead and do that. So there's a lot of busy work, and it, since it's real time, uh, you can't snooze because the enemy is going to keep doing the same thing you're doing. And you don't want them to outpace you in spice production and city production. You need to stay ahead of them. There's been some uh, missions in this game where I just stayed barely ahead of them. So it made the mission last a very long time. There might have been some hour long, <clears throat> excuse me, hour long battles um, when I beat it the other day. I'm going to instruct that harvester to go over here instead. It'll get more spice in less time. Now those harvesters can be attacked by the enemies. If you lose your last harvester, this game will give you a new one. But, but ideally you want several harvesters and in a little bit here I should have enough money to do that. For now I'm happy with my city. Up oh, there's a worm. Let's get the guys onto solid ground or else the worm will swallow us up. <clears throat> Hopefully he swallows up some of the enemies. He he can harvest or he can swallow the harvester as well. The I don't know why I'm calling the worm a he. Uh, once it eats three things, it, dis it disappears for some reason. So sometimes you just have to feed it your own guys to make it go away. Uh, some of your weaker things. So it looks like. I see some red on the map. Yep. There's a guy here. And he's brought a friend. He's, uh, ah, there's another one and another one. So I really need to produce something to defend myself. So I'll go ahead. Let's see, I can build the qu a quad. That's another one of these cars, like this one. because. Mine is taking a lot of damage and it's going to die any minute. And there it is. There's my new quad. And I'm going to move them up here. Uh, I'm thinking about bringing the harvester back early so I can have enough money for another vehicle. Right now, I don't have enough money for any vehicle. And the harvester ha is is back. I gotta repair this. <clears throat> Let's see if my other buildings have been damaged. This one's a little bit damaged, so let's fix that. And as soon as I can afford it, I'm gonna produce another quad. Looks like I can. And we'll just keep producing those until we got enough defense to defend ourselves. Because right now, they are relentless in their attacks. I don't know if this guy's even doing anything. Roll another one out. Let's instruct this um, to run these guys over. I should have did that earlier. See, <laughs> it's funny. And then let's send it back over here. I don't want the worm to get it. 
Now I have to repair this. Now we're just, we're, like I said, the game eases you into it. Um, eventually this whole screen gets filled with different types of buildings that you can build. It doesn't give you full access from the beginning to all that stuff. Same with the different little things you can build with these bases. Um, let's go ahead and build a trike. Uh, later on, when you're deeper into the game, you can build all kinds of vehicles. And you can build a spaceport and order vehicles from space. It's pretty cool. Oh, we got another guest. Let's send this guy up here. It's better to have the battles away from the building, so that way he's not damaging the building. There's more. Oh, he, he went right by us. Okay, he should be dead in a minute here. Two more guys. I'm going to call the harvester back so that I can buy more vehicles. Actually, let's have them. Uh... Nah, we need a, we need the credits. All right. Well, I hope you're enjoying this uh, gameplay so far. It's not the best thing to show on YouTube. It's going to be a very long video probably, but I enjoy it and hopefully me describing it makes it more enjoyable. There's other Dune games. I believe there's one for the Sega CD, so I might have to check that out. And on computers, there was, or on PC, whatever, um, there was a lot more Dune games from what I can gather. So the credits are going up, and I'm just going to keep building vehicles. Remember, I have to destroy the other house. So right now, I'm just putting everything into my defense. I need to keep... Uh, I don't know if I want him over there. I guess that works. I want to keep on... Um, building, and I want to make a second refinery so I can get more money and buy more vehicles that way, so let's get another refinery built, if I can afford it. Uh, but first I'm going to need a power plant. Because I'm getting, my city's getting pretty big here, so I'm just going to need more power. Each one of these squares consumes power. If I click into it, I can tell uh, I thought I could. Maybe when I purchase it, I can tell how much power it's going to consume. And uh, build another refinery. Construction complete. Let's put it down here. Oh, not enough credits. Just going to have to wait. Cutting it pretty close here. I'm down to two vehicles. This ain't looking good. I'm gonna bring the harvester back so that I... Oh, there's a worm, there's a worm. I don't want to lose that. I'm surprised that worm didn't get that. But we're gonna call the harvester back so we can purchase some more vehicles with the credits. I don't have time to wait for him to complete it. I 
I'm just gonna start building the quad even though I don't have enough money at this moment. Build another one. Let's get these out a little bit further. Alright, should be good for now as far as defense, but like I said, I really need to build that second um, refinery. I probably should not have built this um, base because uh, the radar thing is not that big of a benefit. But four of these little guys should be able to defend pretty well. All right, dude, let's get you into a better spice field. In fact, let's get you away from that worm and get you over here. Got the battle going on. And on the way there, let's... Well, I don't want it to get damaged. So let's send it over here. Get it out of the battle. these other guys now. I'm hopefully gonna... Let's see how much damage these guys have. Oh, this guy is about to die. So the next time this thing comes back, I'm going to build my refinery no matter what. So let's go ahead and call it back. And eh, let's give it a minute. Yeah. But why am I calling it over there for? I need to call it over here. All right. High stakes going on here. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to produce the refinery. Now if one of my harvesters gets eaten by a worm, then I'm in some dire straits here. Sometimes this little flying thing comes in and puts the harvester on the pad for some reason, and other times it doesn't. Uh, other times it just drives up to it. And we almost got it built. There we go. Now I just need to hold off the enemies here. Got two harvesters. This guy, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go up there, go over here. Let's build another vehicle. Let's repair this. This guy wants to wander around. Let's bring him over here. Let's see, do I have enough money to make a trike? Um, no.
I'm just trying to make sure that these things, these buildings don't get destroyed. They're not taking too much damage. I need to call back a harvester because I need stuff. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need that money. I'm gonna order a trike and have it... I don't have enough credits for a trike, so it's gonna partially build it. This, if this thing will ever get over there... Oh, wonderful. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Let's bring this over here and attack. Let's build another trike. No, don't go over there. Go over here. Let's call this one back. A lot of stuff to manage here. <laughs> But hopefully I can get over the hump and now that I have two harvesters I can start building more vehicles faster. Build another quad. Let's see how much damage. There's my quad. That's good. I'm gonna start fixing the damage to this power plant. That's gonna cost me some credits, but oh well. I hate to keep calling my harvesters back so early, but that's what you gotta do sometimes when you have this many vehicles attacking. They really want to blow up that power plant there. Quite a battle going on. Let's use the harvester to destroy this guy. And let's use it to destroy this guy. Come on. Move. Let's see. Alright, he's dead. Let's move it over here. Now we're starting to get things done. Construction complete. Reporting. Acknowledge. I'm bound and determined. You can see the worm moving around up there. I'm bound and determined to win this mission no matter how long it takes. Reporting. Get in the red here. Let's check Reporting. the damage. Pretty good. There's the worm. Hopefully it eats some of the enemies because they seem to be coming down through here. Should be a, a big payday if those those guys get full of spice. Ah, oh, wonderful. Let's call one back. 
Oh, there's one back coming back up anyway. Order another quad. Ah, oh, wonderful. We're in trouble now. I just lost my power station. This one is not able to do it or whatever. I think I'm going to lose this mission, so I'm going to actually restart it because there's just too many enemies and I can't keep up. Now let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can build something fast enough. I don't think we can. I'll be able to pull it off or not. Let's just build another power plant without the concrete. Reporting. Reporting. And let's send you back over here. I was about to quit and restart the mission, but I think I might be able to pull it off. Got three quads. Let's build another. Four. Uh, where'd he go? Uh, that might be okay. Uh, the worm's getting too close. Send him down here. <clears throat> we made short work of that one. Okay, here comes another. And another enemy. Let's see, why am I expending credits here? It's building something without my permission, so I told it to stop. Actually, let's bring you over here so you can run these guys over. No, oh, we don't need you. Let's check for damage to the other facilities. The gauges look okay. This power plant has a little bit of damage, but I'm just going to leave it for now. I only have one credit anyway, I wouldn't be able to repair anything at all. This this white stuff is just the remains of a bu the building I had here at once. There's the worm. Uh oh. Oh, I was going to say, I thought the worm might have eaten one of my harvesters. Let's build a trike this time. Construction complete. There we go. Build another one. Construction complete. 
Now we're assembling an army. Send you. Wait, hold on. Reporting. Let's send you over here. Let's put another trike. Get, keep some variety here. Reporting. Let's make short work of this guy. Kind of trying to make a ring around these enemies. Um, I have this fear of my units shooting each other. I'm not sure if that's even possible. Over here, where it's safe. All right, we can start to get a little bit more brave here. Is that worm still out there? Reporting. Acknowledge. Reporting. If it's gonna eat anything, I want it to eat a trike. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. So let's produce some more of those. use some funds to repair this facility here. So I'll activate fix. All right, let's start moving some troops that direction. And if we have a battle, we have a battle. Keep some behind. We'll keep two behind. We need to locate the base, so we need to send one of these guys ahead. We'll just keep our eye on him. These trikes move fast. Uh oh. Don't eat my, my bigger ones. That worm is going to get us no matter what, so. Thinking about feeding it. I got all kinds of money now. seems like at this early stage the worm is not aggressive. Maybe that's on purpose since it's kind of like tutorial stuff. Oh, I found the base. So let's get the hell out of here because I have no chance of attacking it and winning. Flee! following them. 
Yeah, there we go. All right, so we know where the base is at. So now we just have to uh, stop, build up our fleet here. Let's repair this. Let's repair this. We got a thousand credits now. Actually, I've reached the maximum number of units. It's not letting me build another one. So we are going to have to go on the offensive here. So let's do it. I'm not even going to worry about the worm anymore. What I can do is connect these units like this, and then I can move them as one big piece. It mostly works okay. Ah, oh, the worm's eating my stuff. Oh well, I'm just going to instruct my people to come here, and we're going to connect these two. And we're going to start attacking the enemy base. It's nice to go on the offensive for a change. So, oops. bring these guys up here. We're just going to attack one edge of the base. Hopefully the worm is done eating me. We're gonna, just going to build quads and keep building them until we overwhelm the enemy. I can't believe I almost quit and start over. Um, but that's the way it goes with this game. Why is this guy still over here? Now these guys, since they're close to the base, they're just gonna start firing at the, the different facilities and destroy them. They'll also fight the enemies around them. Let's get rid of this guy. army. So I'm going to let them do their thing up. Oh, we're being attacked down here because I didn't have any defense. Mm -hmm. I can use this harvester to destroy the little guys here. This might be a problem. They're attacking that pretty hard. Squish him, squish him, produce another. Now you can go about harvesting. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Should be able to hold them off down here. Repair my facilities. That screen shaking was my troops blowing stuff up up here. 
We're just gonna start moving them to the center here. I got maximum units. Oh, they're both about dead. Um, okay. We're okay. I don't know how those vehicles got all the way down there, but... So we have their vehicle plant right here. Uh, if we destroy that, we can take them out. So let's concentrate on fire firepower on that. I can tell them to aim at that. That's not gonna last very much longer here. Let's watch it explode. I could attack their harvester too and slow down their spice production. There's uh, their construction yard. That would be a good target. See what's going on down here. It's only a matter of time now. I am going to win this. Lost some vehicles up here. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, they. Ah, they built something right on top of my guys. I forgot they can do that. Well, let's destroy their construction yard so they won't be able to do that anymore. They might do the same thing here. In the meantime, we need to replenish our army. All right, construction yard is gone. Are they? Yeah, the construction yard. Let's uh, position our guys here and destroy this vehicle yard. Send more troops. Uh, that vehicle yard takes a lot to destroy. Uh, 
Reporting. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Acknowledged. Reporting. Let's send these guys up here. That's a big one. Let's destroy their barracks next. That way they can, there won't be as many troops coming our way. Later on you get more powerful tanks and stuff and it doesn't take as long to destroy these places. Let's destroy the spice harvesting platform here. All right. I'm just going to leave one car for defense. Famous last words. All right, we are gonna be winning maybe in a few minutes here. Let's check the status of my harvesters. Do I still have both of them? Yes, I do. They're doing their duty. I think I win when I destroy uh, every single one of their building units. So I think this is the last one here. Let's make sure by moving over here. All right, that's done. Look at all these guys. They got nothing now. The harvesters can't come back unless they've built a second city somewhere, which I don't think they have. <clears throat> Some of these guys aren't firing, so <laughs> not sure what that's about. There we go. All right. Do your job, my friends. Do your job. This is going to be a very long video. Is that it? Yep. Alrighty. Well. <laughs> On to the next mission. Like I said, I'm going to keep going until I exhaust myself. Um, there's more stuff to show you that I haven't been able to unlock yet. So... The next mission will show even more. Okay. I don't care much about this summary. Alrighty. So, mission four. I'm going to get the advice this time and just see what it says. All right, so I get to use tanks this time around. He's just reminding me that I have them. And once again, we're going to be battling the Harkonnen. We have to destroy their base. Hopefully I can get off to a better start here. The thing is, I found this game most challenging. Uh, midway through the last few missions i kind of had perfected the game at that point and uh had the high power tanks and stuff like that 
and uh, I kind of blew through the last half of the game. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm tra starting to lose my voice a little bit because I narrated a video before this one, and that's always taxing on my voice. So once again, I need a refinery in place to get the spice production going. We're near the top of the radar, so I assume the Harkonnen will be coming from this side. We'll know for sure in a little bit here. They're no doubt on their way. Let's send this guy down. We just need to find some spice. He's looking. I think it just randomly drives around until it finds it. There we go. Or maybe it already knew there was sun up, some up there, so. Um, I am gonna send this guy up here just to uncover the whole field. It looks like there's more right here, so let's go there. Huh, maybe not. Oh, the building. <laughs> I got a little bit more money to spend here. Might as well build some concrete. I don't want to build an outpost yet. I That's what impaired me last mission. It kind of got me behind on the credits. Um, a vehicle plant. If I build it, I won't have enough um, to use for other things. So for now, I'm going to build another refinery. get harvesting some more spice. There we go. Oh, we haven't found any new spice deposits. I'm going to keep exploring the tracks like I mentioned before. Um, he's going down there. The tracks are faster than the other vehicles, so that's why I'm using those a lot. There we go, he found some spice. We're just gonna go ahead and call this guy back because there's not much left over there. All right, so once again, the attack is coming from as I predicted from down here. Let's see. Let's build some more concrete. Next thing we need is a vehicle plant. So I'll go ahead and get that started. We got enough credits. Oh, we have an enemy tank. That's not good. That's gonna, oh, two of them. We need everyone down here. Three enemy tanks. Jesus, this is not good, people. It's taking so long. Where's he going? Go down here, bro. So what can I build? Well, I can build a quad. That's not going to be good against tanks. I need to build an outpost before I can upgrade to build bigger things. Oh no, did I just use a... Did I lose a harvester? Maybe I didn't. Another quad. Man, these troops are taking forever to get down here. Hopefully this is just the first of a, their, their initial wave and once I wipe out these tanks, we'll be okay. Like 
this guy. Attack this guy. Here, crush these guys. Crush them. Yeah. That's how you do it. I crush these guys too. Hold on. Here we go. Alright, we took a lot of damage. So, we need to keep building our forces. I don't think I'm going to hold off too many tank attacks. Oh no! Oh no! The worm got my harvester. I don't think I get a replacement, it just lets me keep one. So that's going to impair my ability a lot. I'll just keep building these. Uh, we need... Uh, at least we have uh, some thicker spice down here, so let's make sure he gets to that. But if he gets gobbled up, then um, it'll set me back a little bit, but they'll automatically give me a new one. Let's see, what's this guy going to do? Oh, no. That's a special attack where that uh, I think the Ordos can do. They can order these saboteurs to come and just be dropped off at the base. Check the dam. They're not doing too much damage yet. Let's repair this facility. We almost got the attack repelled. credits to repair. Oh no, did I lose? I think the worm gobbled up my harvester. We are not in good shape, folks. I may lose this mission, but I said that last mission I was able to pull it, pull it through, so... Alright, finally. Ah, there's the harvester. Or maybe it's a new one. Um, no, where's he going? We need, we need to find spice. So let's move his vehicle over here. Uh, I think he can get spice from anything, but f from just the barren sand, I don't think it needs to show up, but it, it takes too long. There we go. We found a patch. Very good. Very good. And you need to come back. No, 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 no. Come back here. Hey, where are you going? This thing is confused. Maybe I confused it. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked big time here in a second. I need to put more defense over here. There we go. There's a tank. Everyone attack. Even you guys. All right, it's on its way back. I get to spend again in a second. Oh no, we got two tanks. Oh, 
Hold on, let's get you. Oh, never mind. Why won't you die? Come over here. Run that guy over. You attack him. You attack him. Lots of busy work, huh? All right, your job is over, go over here. The production is going too slow right now. Um, I, I need, an, if I hadn't lost uh, that second harvester, because I, I spent, money on another refinery and I only have one harvester now so I don't even need that other refinery. If the enemy blows it up I'm probably just gonna leave it as is. Might as well build some concrete. I don't even have enough for a wind trap right now. Let's look how bad shape these guys are in. Uh, they're pretty healthy. We might as well connect them. Oh, there's another tank. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can make it. I don't think we're going to make it. I'm going to restart the, this mission. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to actually end end it right there. I don't think I'm going to be able to overcome what I got going on here. If so, it's going to take me like a half hour to turn it around. But I hopefully, hopefully you got a good idea what this game's about. You didn't get to see like half the vehicles and half the uh, construction things that you can build. And um, there's a lot more to this game than what you saw, but it is fun. Even when I'm up against a wall like this, this game is very fun. So once again, I hope you enjoyed it, the, this video. I'll put some other videos on the screen for you to click. May your games make you happy and smart, and may people respect you for playing them. So long, everybody.